It's been good talking to you, Jim, and very interesting listening to the people that do happen to come back to you, and I will keep listening. I appreciate it. Yes, sir, H.C. Well, you know, we're, we're down now six years from uh, when we started, and we're into the folks that can really use our help. <laughs> All of the louder stations have checked through, and uh, we've helped them along, and now we're down to the stations that are running with uh, probably not too good antennas because, you know, I've got, uh, I've got a local antenna, and I've got four Internet SDR receivers uh, spread out in a grid across the uh, eastern part of the United States. So if I get poor signals everywhere... Somebody's not getting out, you know, because I'm copying the mail from New York to Georgia. And if, uh, you know, if there's somebody who's a uh, S1, uh, they're not getting out. So it ha probably, two to one, has to do with a poor antenna system. And that's why, you know, I, I have been recommending a tuned uh, dipole antenna situation. That's a, a very efficient antenna system. That's what we're using here, Roger. Uh, so far, I've had a lot of good luck with this ZF6 BKW. Started out with G5 RV and uh, stretched it out a little bit and pulled it down, yanked it around. But it's interesting to hear a lot of the people that are on the air. It sounds like they're talking through a soda straw. Uh, you can barely hear them. Uh, I don't know what they're using, but uh, it's it's kind of frustrating knowing that there are things you can do better than that. Uh, that bothers me a little bit too, but uh, I try to help if I can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you know, the thing is, I guess, that folks can't really hear themselves uh, very clearly, even if they could hear themselves, uh, hearing themselves simultaneously as they spoke would, would still not necessarily solve the problem. Even if they could hear themselves uh, uh, delayed uh, might not help the problem because uh, of, how, you know, knowing how to adjust uh, the equalizer uh, in certain ways to help the, um, you know, the pattern uh, be uh, very articulated. Uh, usually it just involves uh, you know, treble EQ, uh, I'm not, I don't really push the bottom end that much because, um, you know, as I said before, if you lose the top end and you have a heavy bottom end, uh, you become Mr. Mumbles because you've ceased to have a balanced signal. So if you don't have a bunch of bottom end and you lose some of the top, you're still in, in good shape, Roger. Bottom end and you lose some of the top, you're still in, in good shape, Roger. Roger. Okay, uh, Jim. I'm going to have to take off here. I appreciate it. I'm going to keep listening, but uh, uh, good luck on getting some more people on there. In for ACH 73. Roger, Roger, HC. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, we'll have this uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. So if you want to hear your beautiful signal, it does really sound good. Could use just a tad of top additional, but, uh, you know, go to YouTube, do the call letter search. Uh, KC9VKV followed by the word logbook will take you to this recording. And again, we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. It'll be cut number one in a series of 26, 25, I don't know, somewhere 100 QSO. It'll be like air check recording. 73, sir. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.